All right, so I took a uh, old cement mixer. It uh, originally had a electric motor on it to go and uh, to power it, to turn it. I went and swapped it over to a hydraulic motor, which is ran off of the, uh, the front hydraulics on my front end loader of my tractor. So I got this hydraulic motor uh, just off of eBay is uh, sixty dollars. So it's a uh, Eaton um, Charlin 103 S. It has uh, 7.3 cubic inches of uh, displacement. The uh, the pulley that's hooked up to the motor is a, uh, a 3.75 inches. Uh, pulley and then <clears throat> this pulley up here is uh, a three and a half I went and welded up a uh, little mounting bracket here so I took some uh, one inch uh, square tubing and uh, drill some holes in it here and then I cut a slot in this uh, this plate right here the smell plate uh, that way this can be adjusted so I could adjust the tension on the uh, the belt so Pretty simple as far as uh, how the motor goes and hooks up to this you know just have a bolt here and then you know a bolt up here and then you know the two bolts that actually uh, go and mount to the uh, the plate that I end up welding onto the uh, the original frame excuse me of the uh, cement mixer so yeah welded that on and then I also bought a uh, skid steer uh, quick detach plate um, that I end up welding on here. So basically this whole thing going on over this whole plate right here um, is welded on to the uh, original frame or leg or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the angle iron of the uh, the cement mixer. I think that was uh, like a hundred bucks shipped. And then you know, got some hydraulic hoses hooked up to where I can hook it up to uh, my tractor's uh, hydraulics. So the cement mixer, uh, you know, my father and I, uh, well, my father had it already, so I mean that was basically free. Um, but you can find them on Facebook um, for probably like a hundred bucks or so, or Craigslist or whatever. It's quite an old uh, cement mixer. Anyway, can you fire it up? So, uh, you know, you can go either way with this uh, hydraulic motor. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, front hydraulics here on my tractor um, is basically is just turned on and off by a button. Um, so I had to rig something up to, uh, to go and just have it, you know, constant on. Uh, 
what else so it's pretty easy as far as dumping it um, you know we can lift it up you know as high as the loader goes and then go and tilt the whole thing and uh, you know dump the contents um, you know inside the mixer so anyways hopefully uh, this thing uh, you know comes in pretty handy later on down the road